Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. I'm going to bring up the old chestnut today. Is mobile phone use associated with an increased risk for brain cancer? This study comes from the UK Million Women Study, which has basically followed one in four women who were born between 1930 and 1950 over a number of years to see their risk for a whole lot of different diseases. In this sub-study, they looked at just over three quarters of a million women and got them to fill in questionnaires about their mobile phone use. And they followed them up for 14 years, looking at their risk for the different types of brain cancer, whether it be glioma, whether it be meningioma, whether it be acoustic neuroma, whether it be pituitary tumors or even eye tumors as well, which are the eye, of course, being an extension of the brain. And they found in women, and I found some of these statistics a bit surprising, in women from the age of 60 to 64, um, 75% of women use the mobile phone regularly. Women at the age of 75 to 79, only 50% use the mobile phone regularly. And they they found that only 20% of women would use the mobile phone for more than 30 minutes a week, not a day, a week, which again, I thought was pretty minimal mobile phone use when you compare that which, with what most people do around the world. And there was about a 0.4% risk for brain tumours uh, in, in this group of 750,000 women studied. So not a huge amount of, of brain tumours were detected and there was no association between mobile phone use and brain tumours. And that's even in the women who use mobile phones for more than 30 minutes a day. But there's a few key points here. And the key points are, there was no data given in younger women. And also when you think about, say for example, cigarette smoke, if you smoke cigarettes for 14 years, there's no link between 14 year history of cigarette smoking and lung cancer. You've got to smoke cigarettes for at least 20, 25 years before the risk for lung cancer start in most people. There'll be an occasional person who's very genetically predisposed who smokes who gets lung cancer early, but it typically takes 20 to 25 years. That's the first point. The second point is we don't have data in younger people. And I've got to say there are only three advantages of being over the age of 50. Advantage number one is wisdom. Advantage number two is grandchildren if you have them. Advantage number three is you lose the cancer risk from medical radiation. So if you start irradiating younger people with, with things like CT scans or whatever, you increase their cancer risk. So we don't know whether children who, who and you see every almost every second child's got their own mobile phone now, and certainly young adults and, teen, and, and, and teenagers are using mobile phones consistently and often with the mobile phone stuck to their skull. So we don't know what's going to happen in 20, 30, 40 years time to these people. And the point is, it may be absolutely nothing. There may be no increased risk for brain tumours whatsoever in people who use mobile phones regularly, but we just don't know. And that's the point I want to make. So when you use your mobile phone, and we have to, we all have to use a mobile phone in this modern world, it's just there and it's part of living in the world, don't stay on the phone for too long. And if you can use hands-free, use hands-free. And if you think that putting the, the earphones in the ear is safer, no, no, it actually concentrates the radiation more in the brain. So I have a thing that I put around my phone around uh, called a speak safe. So when I'm using the the um the earphones, the speak safe blocks over 99% of the radiation that comes through. So do mobile phones cause brain cancer? Or are they associated with brain cancer? There's absolutely no evidence that there is, but I still think the jury's not completely out because we don't have 20, 30, 40 year data with this use. That's the checkup. We'll talk to you next week.